Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Alright, so we're going to be covering these five pipes. I took a look into all of them just to see what's up, and we're just going to cover everything. So the main thing of concern, we're going to fight this one in particular, which has... Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Um... Screw it, Geno Blast. Everybody out except this guy. I'm just gonna take it out and be done with it. Alright, all done. I got a sleepy bomb with that too, cool. So I go down here, and we have ourselves... Oh, there's this thing. Freaking box boy. I guess I'll just, like, nuke it. Maybe jumping will do something. 535, that's not bad. But, wow, what? You still survive after that much damage, wow. And that hits kind of hard. Oh. Well, oh, that's something. Fault so. I'm just gonna jump again on the Bucks Boy. Takes that one out. Meteor Blast. Oh, God. That wasn't too bad. That takes him out. Good stuff. 34 points and 150 coins for that effort. And Bowser hits level 19. Sweet stuff indeed. I assume HP is going to be it. Yeah, it's got to be. And that takes care of you. Now, a thing to note. There it is. There's your next hidden treasure. I got a red essence with that, so that's cool. How are my items holding, by the way? Fairly decent. Anyway, this Gekka should be a joke. Just nuke it. And I will, uh, just do that and be done with it. Easy stuff. A bracer. Oh, that's different. And another one of these, where I'm officially out of flowers. Well then, um, I have a fireball. Let's just use it. Nuke. Okay, so the Gekkets are completely immune to fire. Great. Then again, they are easy as hell to fight, so whatever. Just blow through that and... <laughs> Take the L and move on. Good lord, that was embarrassing. Nice right, so jump up, and that's it for. Oh, what the? Oh, frog coin, cool. That's out of the picture, and I'm just gonna skip the Gekkets this time because I need to move forward. All right, so everybody resets here, and I'm just gonna wait for you to do stuff. And I'm just gonna jump onto you, and blow things up. That was easy. Inside here is simply a slot chest, where all you really gotta do is just... If you get two of them in a row, you get yourself some cool stuff. In the case of a mushroom, it's a recovery mushroom. Two flowers is a flower. Two stars is a rock candy. All three of them in a row is a frog coin of any kind. Um, three in a row is a frog coin. That's what I should have said. Anyway, I'll just, like... Hey, I got a flower, at least. So, that's all that really is. Do that, and there's just, uh... 
So this northern one has a few things. Oh wow, this whack. Okay. I'm gonna have to go through this as well as I can. Just try to get through all this as easily as I can. I hope I don't have to use a royal syrup, but. You know what? I think I will have to use a royal syrup. Number one, I'm actually running out of inventory space. And I may as well just. I may as well just get it over with. Pretty sure Kara Kara Cola will do the flower points as well. So, I'm just going to go with it. Royal Syrup. 99 flower points. In this case, I'm just going to, uh, let's do Star Rain just to take a look at it. It's that, and it's everybody! It's a nice big star. And with that, Mario hits level 24. Oh, wow, we're getting closer. Okay, nope. Nope, it's power. Yep. That handles it. Alright, so we'll go down here. Inside here is this handful of enemies. But the main reason here is the chomp chomp section. Um, just kind of reading on, there is a mini game in Booster Tower where if you win that 12 times, you get an item called the Bright Card, and inside here, you'll actually face, uh, the other guy's casino, if you have the Bright Card in this area. Unfortunately, I don't have that card with me, and, uh, not really feeling in the mood to actually go for that one, so I am, I'm mostly doing more majority stuff. Particularly like the optional battles and whatnot. Not like trying to go for a full 100% here. That's just going to take a while. And quite frankly, I don't want to be forever recording this thing either. Because I've made this many episodes up to this point, doing pretty decently. I just want to try to do some of these other things that seems like... It's not stupid. It actually has some purpose for me. And that would be fighting the optional fights. So in this case, it would be Jinx, because uh, that's technically a. Uh, well, you hit yourself. Nice job. Jinx is technically an optional battle. First time I went through this game, I never actually fought him or Jagger. I just kind of went through things as is. And I also know the other optional boss that was inside Monster Town, where I didn't even recognize how to actually access him. Now I do, and I am going to fight him. Because once I get through that, everything else is a freaking joke. Alright, and there we go. Cool stuff. We are going to do some of these optional stuff. We are going to do a lot of these optional things until after we cover the sixth star piece. But once I get that, then we're all good to go. Alright, so two more of these. And I just realized we're approaching nine minutes getting into this. Come on, you stupid shy away. Handles that. Ten points is ten points. I'm going down, and inside is another one of these. I got a rock candy. Pretty sure that's what that is. Yep, rock candy. Oh, wow, I am one point away. Uh, great. This stinks. I'll just use a froggy drink. Screw it. And that takes care of things. So we'll jump up, and there's one final piece to go. Save the best for last. The southeast path. Wait for the stupid shyway to water it. And let's go nuking. Get marked. Get whacked by a stick. How the hell is that doing more damage than 
freaking double punch, I have no idea. That's the last one. And inside is yet another slot chest. I got one of each. How about that? But there's a main reason for this one. Go right here. There's another hidden treasure with a Kara Caracola. And with that, we are done with all five of them. As well as being chock full of items that I really gotta waste. Get rid of these able juices. I don't need all these able juices. Alright, with all that done, yeah, the main reason for doing the pipes, particularly if you're going for hidden treasure, is to grab that one and that one. Other than that, we're all done. So let's head up this direction. And then there's this thing, which, uh, I guess I'll just fight. Oh, lord, it's a boss. No big deal. I got a Smilax. I'm just gonna blast apart. Go away, shy away! Now we got two Smilaxes to deal with. Blow one head up. And I guess the other one just goes by relatively easily as well. That's it. Recycled water. Okay, so there's three of these now. Great. Did I not time that correctly? That sucks. This isn't worth the uh, using flowers against. Just blow them all up one at a time. Heck, if anything, this should all be a joke. You keep missing with fire, which is hilarious. Drains do something, at least. Not much, but at least they're hitting. And that should be all three of them. And now I got to do one more. Add some nutrients. Oh, great. And that is the Mega Smilax. With two more Smilaxes. I can't really do a jump here. But I am going to try an Ultra Flame. And just nuke this Mega Smilax. Hopefully it does something. Oh, it just hits everybody. Okay. Oh, wow. Turn everybody to mushrooms. That's great. Of course, Gina's asleep. There we go, got him fixed. Good thing True Form Pin exists. And I am personally just going to Gino Flash. This way it hits everybody. And I'm just gonna go with it. Gets rid of that. You're not hitting me, dude. This is not turning you into a mushroom. Oh god, 41 damage, though. Okay, let me just use an Able Juice here, and, uh, I'll give it to Mario. Attack a Fire will at least help. And that's exactly what I'm going to use, is the Fire Orb. Four. 
that doesn't do much. Oh, Christ, I didn't even time that at all. Um, do you know World? Now that's a, nah, actually I can't even critical, but at least I tried. See if I can at least get like improved damage if I could even critical at all. Time it. And the mushroom becomes a scarecrow. Well, at least you can actually do something, even if it is required for flower points. I'm gonna HP range you now. Not much else I can do anyway. And, uh. Screw it, I'll attack. Seem to be doing more damage there, and that's it. 40 points for your efforts. No coins, though. Not that it matters, you probably are maxed out on coins anyway for the most part. Toadstool reached level 20. That's our last significant contribution for uh, stats. And, uh, five points if you need it, but the correct answer is special. And that's what I'm doing. Well then, right there's a little note. What's this? It's a seed. Take it. Hmm, interesting. Oh wow, it's 17 minutes. Alright, so I'm just gonna immediately step back and save the game because this is a long episode and I might as well just finish it off here. So, with that said, I'm gonna close this episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.